1982, we started making two wines, both of them Stag's Leap District wines. Our Reserve, which later became Hillside Select, and our Napa Valley. By 94, 95, 96, with all the replanting that we were having to do with phylloxera, we'd do a lot of replanting, all of a sudden our supply of Stag's Leap Cabernet was, was down quite a bit. And those were tough years, and we were able to protect Hillside Select with Stag's Leap District fruit. But for the regular bottling, um, we were had, had to abandon the Stag's Leap District. We didn't have enough fruit from Stag's Leap to make the wine 85% Stag's Leap District, which is what you have to have in the bottle to label it Stag's Leap. So in 95, 96, we dropped the Stag's Leap District from our regular Cabernet and went to the Napa Valley designation. And that's what we've had since 96. And then in 1999, we were fortunate enough to buy a 30-acre hayfield, which um, from a guy down south, just just inside the Stag's Leap District, which is a guy you've been working on for a long time. Yeah, like 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last last piece of land, un, undeveloped land within the Appalachian Stag's Leap District, because we planted it to Cabernet. That meant we had enough wine to then label our regular cab a Stag's Leap District cab. And so that's the beginning of 1.5. But we didn't. We didn't buy it just, just willy-nilly because it was really expensive. And Elias, our winemaker, and David Ilsley, our vineyard manager, um, really wanted us to buy it. So I said, okay, here's the deal. Dad and I will buy this thing, but it's a science project. You've got to grow hillside character Cabernet on this site. So um, it, was, it was a pretty fun project. Lots of subsurface drainage, low vigor rootstocks, using cover crops to compete with the vines, close spacing. A lot of you know, efforts, deficit irrigation, all these things you can do in the vineyard to grow small berries. And they did it. By 2004 vintage, we had enough fruit off this new vineyard to have a Cabernet that can be designated Stag's Leap District. So we thought long and hard about it and looked at our projections and said, you know, we can do this year in and year out. So with this new wine, 1.5, we're able to go back to our roots, if you will, um, having both of our Cabernets be Stag's Leap District. So it's very exciting for us.